What's up, guys? This is the Rifle Man, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of an Empire, my Empire to the War Let's Play as the United States of America. And in this episode, we're attacking the garrison here at Amsterdam, um, but it is critical that we lose as few people as possible because we've got this stack in the city that won't participate in this battle, but once we take the city, they'll be deposited right outside. So, depending on how many men we lose, we may want to rush reinforcements um, to that area. But let's get to it and start attacking. We've got a perfectly fine force to conduct the attack. We just want to make sure that we um, don't just send them into breaches willy-nilly and risk losing lots of our men. <laughs> we need to be um, a bit more clever. I've done some rejigging of my microphone and my monitors and my computer, so things might be a little bit different. Um, but we'll find out how much of a problem that will be later on. Um, I've done some testing and I think I can get the, I got the levels right, but uh, we'll find out soon enough. Okay, let's get my gunners deployed up on the line. Let's get my howitzers up front. So I think the clever thing to do is to go for the breach assault tactic where we secure, we focus on securing um, the breaches and then send units around to scale up and force the enemy to attack, well, trick the enemy into attacking out of their own, out of the breaches that we cover. I think that's going to be the smart decision. Okay. So my what artillery get to work here? How it says land some shells in the centre just to knock out some of this cavalry. I mean the artillery it's all horse artillery, so we're not overly worried about that. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Yeah, we're gonna make our breaches. It's, it's pretty important that we minimise our losses because there's a full strength Austrian army that could actually do a lot of damage to us um, if we just kind of leave them to it. Although actually what I may try and do can we how it's just to try round shots the other section of the wall and see how many men we can trap. Because right now this is up to 52% but how it's just can work on this. Hopefully, they've listened to my orders. Yeah, they're just reloading. Oh, yeah, we're probably going to miss our shot because of how rapidly. Full artillery dismantled the other breach. 26%. If we get another good broadside in from these guns, we might be able to just knock out the, um, the steps. Yeah, so where everyone's getting off the wall. Just short. Get my howitzers to start targeting in the infantry. We probably don't need to worry about attacking the breach exactly. Um, let's instead focus on this section. My line. Begin the advance. And it will just be a casual advance. Oh, you're begging to be quick limed. Quick lime away. Oh, did I target the wrong unit to attack the walls? Classic. Put artillery aim down the breach. Uh, 
I'll get some in there. But I do want to see some units quick climbing. Um, we may have to send some units to assault the land of their militia up top, but we'll have our cavalry to secure the gate if we try push out. There we go. Oh, obviously, now's when we miss it, but look at that. So many dead Austrians. Okay, let's keep media. This cavalry will be close, ready to push out the gate if they try and attack us from there. I want the Republican Guard to cover the gate. I want this un in infantry unit to get on the wall. And then I want line infantry to start boxing off the breach. And the gate as well. Republican Guard, you men scale the wall here, you men scale the wall here. Lots of orders to scale the wall. There you go, they're opening fire on us. Move my cavalry up to more overtly. Um, cover the gates. Lots of dead Austrians here. Yeah, the Lanvin militia are going to do some damage to us, but not a huge amount before we get up on the wall. Here they come. To be fair, you may try to scale the wall to capture this gatehouse. When you may attack the enemy cavalry, where are my provincial scouts? Get them up the wall here. I'm going to let my Republican Guard continue to climb, because they will get on top of the wall quickly enough. I bring my regiment of horse in to attack the men in the gate. So this one guy that secured the may secure the gate on his own. My mercenaries are attacking the Lanvin militia. Republican Guard, or oh, the enemy cavalry have been killed. My cuirassier around here. There we go. We've secured this gatehouse. So I want my infantry to get up on the wall. My regiment of horse can keep trying to cut their way through. Even a losing slightly to the Lanvin militia, but that shouldn't matter. Well, once I get more Republican Guard up on the wall, it definitely won't matter. Let's give them orders once they get up here. Well, some of them are going to climb back down. Yeah, we do want to beef up that combat. Okay, let's get the scouts. In the center of the defenses, we can start to fire down into the com into the um, compound. Yeah, those mercenaries may fall. Which is fair enough, but our Republican Guard will be enough to see them off. X. 
Excellent. Keep on attacking. No, he killed one of my guardsmen. Don't worry, I've got plenty of troops. Like I said, I'll probably have to try and bring in some uh, reinforcements from somewhere. Republican Guard, kill that last militiaman. Just kill him. Republican Guard are losing slightly against the Lanvair militia. You might have to go. Oop, bit of friendly fire there. Lots of upset Austrians. Kill the last of the militia, and then this cavalry unit's got free reign inside the fort. Cease fire the artillery. They're shattered. Get the cavalry in. There we go. The enemy, the entire enemy force is shattered. City's taken at a reasonable cost, but we do want to reinforce it. Because yeah, you're going to pop out over here, probably. Maybe over here. Yeah. Ooh. In the middle. Okay, let's get replenishing. Get our buildings repaired, get the university knocked down. Awesome, I think a good candidate for reinforcement will be this partial force in Reykjavik. We haven't got to worry about um, getting them in a, in a position to advance on the enemy. As long as they can land off the coast. They'll be okay. Ready and waiting. Excellent. New men. Ah. This <laughs> the sloop of Theseus. Let's get you moving out to Hoffen. Let's get another sloop. Mordant out to Accuray. That port. Well, that was both of them. That's not what I wanted. Let's bring Morden back to Waterford. Okay, so you've got some support. We're attacking Sweden. You're going to push down towards oh. Copenhagen. We're currently allied with Prussia, so we can't really attack there yet. Um, we're probably in a position where we want to start sending armies up from from Spain. Let's push up and secure a couple of of the choke points inside ooh, inside Austrian territory. Maybe let's engage Franz Melas with their depleted force. That could be an option. Yeah, why not? Let's chase back this pretender in towards France. I think if we sit inside their territory rather than sitting inside Spain's territory, we may trigger them to come after us. The, the enemy could be... No, it's just supposition. We have to wonder if the AI is more inclined to push you out of their territory rather than um, attack new territory. 
It's the gamble with native African infantry. They cannot form squares, so the line is even more important, as is the provision of cavalry. So heavy cavalry stay behind the lines, light cavalry on either flank. General up front. Get my cavalry to go after their hussars. I didn't deploy my light infantry. Bit of a silly move, really, considering the enemy are rushing in. Fired off your volley in a not a terrible manner. Now, how the foot artillery can engage whomever they like. Cavalry engaging the light horse. I was going to say, off the bat, it was awfully nice of them to send their cavalry towards the wing that actually has troops that can form square. Okay, let's retarget the howitzers. In my light infantry deployed. We have a good advantage on the, on our left flank, so let's advance my infantry up to take full advantage of it. That's the enemy general's bodyguard. Oh, it's the Hussar unit. Go get them, Colonial Lights. There you go. The enemy think they've ambushed our cavalry, but they haven't. Here come my heavies. Enemy Hussars, they'll go down quite quick. There we go, shattered. Okay, get my cavalry along. Okay, the enemy infantry position is just is incredibly untenable. All my gunners engage the enemy general's bodyguard. My Light Dragoons are doing okay, the enemy Hussars are going down. Kill the Foot Artillery. Enemy front line is collapsing. New men match the bayonet charge of the militia. Engage the general bodyguard, retarget my artillery. They don't they want to stay near the stakes to provide a bit of protection, which makes complete sense. Yeah, there goes the enemy infantry. Advance. Curiosity is still winning. The Hussars are down to about 70 cavalry. We've got 120 in the fight. Ah, oh, my light cavalry got lured into the stakes. Yeah, that was going to happen. All my artillery. Focus on that. General's bodyguard. Concentrate your firepower. We're going to snipe them off of their horse. Let's push my infantry up to secure the stakes so they can't do that trick again. Oh, 
New men both engage the Hussars. I got my other unit of light infantry. Oh well. My infantry are wavering for some reason. Good quick lime hit. Yeah, you better run. We'll get you next time, Mon General. These enemy fusiliers. There we go. They've been shattered. Yeah, why not pursue? Especially as fusiliers, there's not going to be many of them left. Artillery, ceasefire. My general go after the fusiliers. If you can get the Swiss Guard, that'd be super. Swiss units are very good, so if we can kill them, that'd be quite a nice loss for the enemy. Same with the fusiliers. Excellent. Excellent. There is another enemy unit still on the field, but these are the ones I wanted to kill. You are gone. Awesome, but a victory has been won for the Americans. Oh, his force has been obliterated. Excellent. Replenish just over the border. See if we can lure some of these other stacks into the fight. We're probably going to get immediately attacked here in Amsterdam. That's part of the reason why you're in the mix, is you should be able to help. You're on the way to limber up, although you're one unit short. Oh no, you're... No, not that... Mal oh yeah, you're already on board. Okay, you're ready and geared up. Back in the States. Yes, sir. You're max ready recruiting, for... you're max Make recruiting, ready. you're max recruiting. Okay, that's enough. And elsewhere. Yes, sir. Okay, Nathaniel Green, you're ready to commit. You may. Commit to try and sail to India. You're already en route. I can't remember what direction you're going, so I'm going to leave you alone. Ross Butler, let's get you replenished. Let's get Caracas upgrading. Yeah, you can't leave Bogota just yet. Let's upgrade the church school in Mexico. I suspect you can't leave yet either. Anything more? Minus three. Not long to go. Ready and awaiting um. Okay. Diplomacy. Ottomans. Regions. I will demand New Mexico and I'm going to pay you a ludicrous sum. Fifty thousand for New Mexico. <laughs> Rights of man and nineteen grand for improved coppering. No. This will bring us into war, my friends. As long as you are happy with that, we will recruit a Native American um, general to do that. And then we will start to recruit an army back here to deal with them in due course. Apart from that, you're going to be ready to rock and roll. Everything's going. 
ship recruitment is ongoing. Yeah, that's fine. Should better check I've not got anyone in the border regions. Nope. You got chased away. Put you over in Greenwich. I'm hoping we can start to get... Oh, now I'm getting... Um... Right. If I want to... Continue to stoke unrest in Paris, I need to stay out of their territory so they, lo they lose their resistance to foreign occupation. That's what I need to do. Utrecht is about to get destroyed. Harrisburg and New Haven are still researching. Okay, you, these troops in Edinburgh. Any further orders? Come south. William Charlton. Rocket troop, heavy horse, heavy howitzer. Union of Marines and the Union of Line Infantry Guards plus a unit of Garrison Guards. There we go. Start your recruitment of a full army. That'd be pretty sweet. But yeah, I'd, I'd like to not fight this battle until I've got someone in India to at least take um, Tr Trincomalee and then take Calcutta. I, I, I can't resist taking that territory from the British because it's just going to fall to pirates. Okay, I think everything is okay. We've got the Netherlands, but now we have to hold the Netherlands. As our, <clears throat> our priest network pushes on. Yeah, and that's troops coming south. Yeah, as soon as we can, we need to start churning out troops in Amsterdam to bolster our defences. Sail for the horizon. Sail for the horizon. Opportunity to intercept? Absolutely not. No. No. <laughs> no. No. Raid as much as you like, my friends. We demand Newfoundland for all that tech and a payment. No. Yeah, I don't want to fight them in Amsterdam just yet. It, that might cause... That might end up being our undoing because the enemy may overwhelm us. But I think with the return of replenishment and that reinforcement army in the area, that will probably be fine. Um, the Ottoman turn looks like it's progressing reasonably well. I mean, as soon as I say that, it stops. Okie okay, dokie, guys. I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back in a second. So, just a minute, everyone. And we're off again. So the Ottomans didn't really do much. They just kind of sailed around. Um, Russia. We demand light infantry doctrine and 10 grand for power loom. No. We have no need for any technology at the moment. We are more than happy with our level of understanding of the world. And anything we do... Well, we can... Uh, we can... We have, a, we have a reasonable amount of um, flex that we can wait to learn more. Yeah, they are bringing troops to bear. Okay, let's just start. Get a turn of infantry recruited. Fleet arrives. Excellent, you were coming to Europe. Support the beachhead. Sir. Ready and waiting. Ready for action. 
and you guys are going to go back to the States. Excellent. Go after Trincomalee. Aye, sir. They are trapped. I mean, we may as well go for it. Capture it as quickly as we can. Let's go after Malcolm Gibbons. Take Trincomalee. Try get up to Bengal. And this, this is going to be another area where we're just going to keep churning out troops. Right now we've got so many... Um, regions of production we're going to be able to do quite a lot and we sh I should get more aggressive in general in campaigns really it can be quite easy to once you're at this stage just take your foot off the gas and be a bit more sedate and things are fine when in reality you want to say no we've still got enemies to kill although to be honest This army probably isn't the configuration I would like to attack a full Indian field army. Ah, oh, the mortars are just out. The mortars are just out, so when we attack, it's going to be a more traditional assault. See, this is what I was trying to look at. I'm used to India Com East India Company having black hats. These guys have white hats. Oh, European Indian Light Infantry. I see. That's my sepoys. Excellent. Um, but let's just fast forward the part of the battle where we uh, make our breach. Our quick line is going to slowly take chunks out of all of their troops. Yeah, two 12 pounders and one howitzer. Ideally, we want another, another artillery battery and another howitzer battery. That's usually a good amount of artillery. You can do a lot of, a lot of stuff with that. We make our breach, force them to abandon the wall and defend the breach. And then we start quick climbing more um, lucrative targets because they scamper off the walls to defend it. Yeah, we go. Yeah, it's just a lot, uh, just a lot more efficient. Bring my entire army up and they are going to run because so we're going to be attacking through the breaches as well as trying to flank around just to try to get in as quickly as we can to knock out some of these mortars I'm sending everyone in at once so that we can overwhelm them We don't want their mortars concentrating their fire on any one particular area. First shells fly overhead. Let's see the stars. Who's taking hits? Hessian lines getting pounded first. Okay, militia. We'll give them orders to attack the gatehouse immediately. Get my cuirassier up here. Proper bloody assault. That's what this is going to be. 
Hessian line cover the gate. Irregulars. Okay, that'll have us the gate that'll have the gate secured at some point. Okay, they're bringing in carcass shot. Enemy going to attempt to push out and attack us. Again, my house is dropping round shot on the general's bodyguard in the center. Send my infantry in the breach to fix them. Ooh, shrapnel shot. Demi cannons are covering the breach. Hessian line attack the enemy light infantry that are coming out. Secure that gate, get my light cavalry in there. We've secured the main gate. My rangers are fine to stay where they are. So they're realizing that this is a danger area. Come on, the gatehouse should be ours by now. Come on, charge in. So these men form a line behind the melee and just pour musket fire into the rear of the combat. I mean, they might just bayonet charge their way through. Are retreating, my rangers are firing into the combat. Let's do this thematically. If this was in real life, they would fail a charge, they wouldn't waste their time going, Oh, let's shoot at them. No, dip your bayonets and charge in. These men think they've got a drop on us, they think our men are stuck in the breach. They are wrong. Hessian line are going to come pouring through. Come on, Marines. There we go. The enemy force is shattered. Excellent. City's taken. We need to get replenished. Um, we need to get our force reconfigured but that'll take a couple of turns bengal may well become a pirate kingdom before that happens but at least we're in the region let's get preparing We've secured access to t get our upgrades going excellent okay let's do our Economy investing period. We've already got a church school. We do, so let's get a coaching in. 
just to keep them under our... Actually, no, we don't need to get a craft workshop. Commercial port in Panama. They're building new roads. Texas, upgrade to a state capital. Iceland, get upgraded farms and better roads. New Spain gets a weaver's cottage and Mexico's already got metal roads. Sweet. Lots of raids in, in the Netherlands, that's to be expected. Minus two, I mean... We can deal with that by recruiting Dragoons. We left our rake behind. Let's keep these first rates here for now. It's a whole turn of recruitment ongoing, which is fine. We've done the two fleet arrives thingies. Yeah, you pull back. So they see no. So now they're down to positive two, and they're going to start getting religious unrest as Protestantism becomes ever stronger. It's got four Protestant missionaries in the city converting their people. If I could also combine that with rakes destroying happiness buildings they could have quite a significant mora um, morale problem okay now we're at a point where if they attack we probably want to trigger it let's get light cavalry sharpshooter onto your list as well Lots of good recruitment. Probably at a position where I want to just perpetually keep fleets in the trade zones, I think. So let's recruit two militia units to guard both of the ports. Got a sugar plantation. Okay, let's send you to South America. Okay, so we're pretty good here. Everyone, we're either not at war with. Oh, there's a trade spot. Jump to it and look lively. Get over there, secure that for the American Empire. Any orders? In the Straits of Madagascar, they're all Crimea, Russia, Prussia, Italian states, East Indies, US, Naples, Venice, Mamelukes. Available. Let's take that. Not to be need to go up to the East Indies, as do you, because that fleet out there is depleted. Excellent. Okay, let's Let's get a couple more war rates. Uh, you need just some fifth rates. Yeah, so Silom's taken, that's pretty super. No tech on the horizon. Utrecht has been raided, so that does the same thing as far as happiness is concerned. They are not learning, and that's just fine by them. Yes, sir. Okay, Order you are now. Ready. I'm ready to land. You're going to land over here. All the way. Harvesting supplies. 
Excellent. Because we're in a position where we want to start pushing out. We want to start attacking some of these stacks and start to widen our bridgehead by capturing Brussels and Cologne. Okay, three more turns till our tech's done. Sp uh, I mean, Britain's still under siege for two more turns. That's fine by us. Need to make sure that you are replenishing. Let's hit end turn. Ah! I forgot entirely about our landing in the Balkans. Let's maintain siege. <laughs> because that army is depleted. More ship recruitment, more troop recruitment. Okay, we need to make sure that we put troops in to support that Balkans attack as well. Spain's finally recruiting troops to try and help defend their own borders. Oh yeah, I think they're kind of panicking. Again, uh, if, if I was at full strength, I would intercept immediately, but I'm not. There's an Austrian fleet. Oh, we are defending against the garrison at Zagreb. Awesome. Um, but looking at the time, I think it's probably going to be a bit of a stretch to get in this episode, perhaps. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of the, the war in Europe. Cheers, everyone.